Your FortiGate can do many things. One of them is using it as a WEF, that is a web application firewall to protect your web servers from XSS cross-site scripting or SQL injection. Another thing it can do as part of its WEF capabilities is to create HTTP and URL constraints. Let's see it in action. All right, so let's log in. Now, remember that WEF is by default not enabled, so you have to go to System, Feature Visibility, Web Application Firewall, and apply that feature. Now, WEF will only work under proxy, so be aware that you're using proxy mode. The other thing to do is to head over to Security Profiles, Web Application Firewall, where you can create your uh, profile. So name it, let's just name it HTTP Constraints, and there you will see the different signatures for, for known vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, credit card detection, and so on. And here you will have the constraints which we will configure immediately using our command line. The other thing to note is the HTTP method policy, which will be matched in the HTTP request. But we will look at the HTTP constraints for now. So let's open our CLI. We're using HTTP constraints to uh, examine web traffic. Now, if we find different patterns or inconsistency or something is not in the standard, then it may indicate that there's an attack on our web servers. So we configure it using the config web profile. Now let's edit my profile, which I named HTTP. And now we can as you will see, we can configure signatures, we can configure the HTTP methods, and we can configure the constraints, which we will do right now. Now, we'll use the show full config so you can see the different constraints. We have content length, we have header length, that is the HTTP header length, and so on. But what we will do right now is to config the host name and if we we'll use the show for config by the way it, when we configure the host name we actually uh, tell a FortiGate to look for illegal host name each host name has to have uh, its description its name in ASCII printed characters so when we use the bigger sign or lesser sign then we are actually using illegal characters in our host name so we can uh, set the status to enable set the action to block and set the severity uh, to high so now let's end so now if we will look at the Let's just refresh the page. If we look at the constraints, we will see that we have enabled the illegal host name. And the action is to block the traffic. 